Podcast. Thanks for coming back to my crummy apartment. Today we're making spaghetti bolognese. Bolognese is a, sort of a meaty sauce with spaghetti, really, that came from Italy, probably some place called Bologna, something like that. Anyway, I've got my uh, water on here for pasta. One of the first things you should do, because you know what? There's a lot of water in there. Let me just zoom that in there for you. That's a lot of water. It takes like 10 minutes just to boil that water, especially on one of these little electric ovens. And my bolognese sauce is cooking over here. I made this from scratch. If you want to learn how to make a bolognese sauce, check out the video link that's on the screen here right now. And let me just check that while we're going for it. That is done. Nicely cooked. Very meaty. going to be marvelous. Whether you made the sauce yourself or not, you're going to be heating it up. You're going to be having your uh, pasta over here. I like to have a little bit of garlic bread with my uh, spaghetti. Solid frozen. I just took it out of the freezer right now. Anyway, all I'm going to do with this frozen bun is just going to put it on top of my stove here near the element and that's going to thaw in about 10 minutes. So my spaghetti is over here. Just going to have a colander or some drain my pasta. I'll have that in the sink right here. So when this pasta is ready, spaghetti is going to go in there. Got a bit of chopped uh, spinach here. Anything green is fine. You can do black olives, maybe chopped tomatoes. Just something for a bit of color, a bit of contrast in your spaghetti. By the way, in the pasta water, I like to put a lot of salt. Not a lot of salt, but the water should be salted. Because that's what sort of gives your noodle a little bit of flavor. You don't have to worry about oil. Oil just floats to the top. You don't have to add oil to pasta. That's not going to prevent it from sticking because the sticking happens underneath. Um, it's really how long you cook it and how you handle it once it, uh, once it is cooked. And so far that's it. Now I've got some spaghetti here. Here's the rule of thumb. I'm making two portions here but you know I always like to have leftovers but if you just want one portion or if you just want a couple of portions then just take out enough that will fill a nice spot in your hand like that. If you can make it like a no with your hand, you know, your fingertips, your thumb and your fingertip touching like that, that's two portions of spaghetti right there. Cool, right? So just use that as a marker. I'm going to put in a bit more. Like I said, I like some in the fridge afterwards. I like can just put in a bowl in the microwave. Really cool. Ah, fuck it, I might as well just do it all. Who wants a little bit of bag laying around anyway? Okay, so I'm just going to break that up a little bit. Lid it back on. Five minutes, we'll come and check it again. Okay, I'm just checking the pasta here. Making sure it's not clumpy together. You have to get one of these claws, they're pretty cool. done. The sauce, you know, I'm basically just going to turn off right now because it's cooked. Okay, the uh, garlic bun, my or my bun, my frozen bun, is pretty much thawed. Maybe a little bit stiff, but it doesn't make a difference. Just going to just make sure when you freeze these, you double wrap them and try and squeeze out any extra air. Because right now, I can feel the outside of that, and that feels like it's a fresh bun that you just get out right out of the cabinet at the grocery store. So, here's what I'm going to do. Take some slices almost all the, all the way down. So I'm just leaving the bottom intact. Can you see that? All right, now let's get the margarine. And I'm just going to smother that in margarine. Get some right in between there. Now, of course you can use butter. I really can't afford to, much, to have butter around here too much. And honestly, if you're just feeding kids, don't don't give them butter. Don't give them expense. I get the cheap cheese and I get the and I use margarine all the time. Teenagers have no idea what they're eating. Do not waste your money getting butter and expensive cheeses on teenagers. They have no fucking idea what they're eating. It's just a waste. If it tastes good, they'll come back for more. Alright, so I got this caked with margarine. And now I'm just gonna put some of that. You can use fresh garlic, of course, that would be ideal, but 
I'm in a bit of a rush. Let me use this. This is more or less what they might get at Domino's Pizza or something like that. All right, my uh, oven's on. Put my oven on, but I need a little pan. Okay, I'll stick it in here and into the oven it goes. Right here, let's get a shot of that. All right. What an action shot that was. It's basically al dente right now, but I'll let it go just another 30 or 40 seconds. That's it. Let me stir around my awesome sauce here again. Once you get a sauce, it's hard not to stir it. Well, let's bring this over. We're going to go right into the sink. The pasta, which is ready. And watch the steam. I mean, watch it as well. Be careful. Lift it up. Let that water drain. The reason you want to do it this way is to get all of that cooking water off of it and you know basically take control of the cooking process. In other words, you're kind of stopping it. If I wasn't ready to serve supper right now, I could run cold water on this and cool it off and then reheat it just by either microwaving or dipping it in hot water again afterwards. But I am ready to eat and I am ready to serve this up. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil like this and just going to drop it right on top of the pasta here. Now this is why when the oil goes in, and uh, that's how you prevent it from sticking. Check that little bun. What the hell's happening with that? How could it be burning? It's burning. Check that out. It's toasting. It's not only defrosting, but it's toasting in there. Okay, I'm gonna. That's actually burning in there, so I'm gonna turn that off and just let it finish off in there right now. All right, so let's mix around that olive oil. And I'll throw in my spinach and maybe a little bit of salt. Now, just those little green flakes, that makes your pasta look so much better. That's what I feel anyway. Okay. Now, set this up. Okay, so, all right, for the pasta bolognese, I got a couple of bowls here. Let's just go right to the pasta, toss it around a bit, and then put some, and then put some right in the bowl, right in the middle. Sort of gotta turn it around a little. Save this bread. Fuck, that looks awesome. Okay, I'll drag it right over. Can you believe how amazing that looks? Right here. Of course, we're going to do a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Not a little bit. Kids like a lot, so. Yeah. Now for this bread, take a chunk out of it here. And as you can see, that butter is sort of melted down and crusty outside. And dudes, there you go. That is spaghetti bolognese. Thanks for dropping by to my crummy apartment. Take care. See you next time.